from the exhibit who know who owns the moon by Hello everybody. So in today's video, I will be talking about this particular painting from the exhibit Who Know Who Owns the Moon by Wanda Koop. This painting is called Ukrainian Quartet Power Plant by, of course, Wanda Koop herself, who was born in Vancouver in 1951. Now the description that you're seeing on the screen right now is provided by the Montreal Museum itself uh, during the exhibit. Unfortunately, the exhibit is no longer at the Montreal Museum of Fine Arts, so unfortunately you can no longer go there to see this exhibit, but you can look it up online and see if this exhibit will be presented uh, near you or at a location you will be traveling to at some point. Hopefully you'll be able to see it for yourself. I did enjoy, uh, just as a quick aside, I did enjoy the exhibit. It was nice. It was very small, about a dozen paintings or so were included, but I definitely enjoyed it. So I'm not going to go read the full uh, description. So by all means, you guys are more than welcome to pause the video and read the description for yourself. But it will also be uh, on screen for the rest of the video itself. So if you want to as you're listening to me slowly read it that's absolutely fine as well but basically this is a painting of the moon by a plant in ukraine uh, now obviously i'm not going to get into uh, what's going on since uh 2022 in ukraine we all know about what's going on uh, if you don't know you're more than welcome to look it up I'm not going to take uh, any sides as to what's going on. You guys can decide for yourself what you believe is happening. Okay. Um, so in the rest of the video, I will be talking about my personal opinion about this painting and nothing else. So I admit that this is not the best photo that I've taken at an exhibit, but um, I really did like this overall exhibit uh who owns the moon and yes it's uh the title of the exhibit is meant to have you question certain amount of things and i think that's what is fantastic about art in general is yes you can look at art as what you see right what you have in front of you you take it as is but you can also go a little further with it. And this is one of those exhibits that you're meant to go a little bit further with it. You're meant to, let me ask a couple more questions. Let me go, let me step a little bit further into it, right? Who owns the moon, right? Uh, because obviously here on quote, quote unquote on earth, right? We are very much related to, I'm, I'm Canadian and, uh, you know, it's because, well, the borders and all that, right? Uh, your identity as, uh, you know, at least part of your identity is based on where you are geography, you know? Canada is a specific place, right? It's a, a specific geography to it, right? But then you'll have things like the moon or Antarctica or the arctic right where who who owns these places it's not canadian it's not american it's not russia it's everyone right um but of course you're gonna have countries you're gonna have people you're gonna have organizations that are say oh, no it, be it belongs to uh, you know and it's does it really you know what i mean even when we say canada when we say us when we say uk these are all recent concepts, right? These are all recent uh, ideologies. The UK was, of course, much greater. Um, the UK was Trinidad. It was Canada. It was Australia. It was so many other countries, right? Yet many of these countries said, yeah, no, we're, you know, we don't really want to be part of you anymore. We're we're going to make our own identity. And even within Canada, right, we have Quebec, where I'm from, right, that say, no, we want, we want to make our own country. We don't, we're our own distinct culture and all that, right? And I'm not saying any of this is right or wrong, 
that's the reality of it, right? We have the this concept of identity of who we are as individuals, but also who we are as a group, as a culture, as uh, what's more, what's beyond who we are as individuals, right? And like it or not, that's part of identity. That's part of personality. Um, that's part of also our ethics, our morality, right? When we say, well, the, the, what's right, the good of life, right? That's part of based on a common principle, right? Um, if I'm going to say life is precious, well, why is life it's precious? Because we kind of look at there is something above and beyond me as an individual. I can think life is precious or life is meaningless. But if I'm going to live in society, we all have to agree on whether or not life is precious. And if we say life is precious, but yet we have instances where somebody can unalive another person and we're okay not sending them to jail, there has to be a common agreement, right? There has to be that sense of, well, based on what most of us accept, it's okay to have the idea of life is precious, except, right, that life is precious until moment, right? That until moment, right? Life is wonderful, life is precious until, right? And again, I'm not here to say or judge anybody in particular and say, it must be this or else, you know? Um, it should always be discussed. It should that until moment should be discussed at all times, and uh, there definitely is no one right answer, right? Uh, within a country, within a nation, within a group, you do need to be able to discuss that until moment, right? Um, which is why when you look at something like Road v. Wade, right? Why it was overturned because at some point enough people said yeah no we're that until moment needs to change right um i'm pro-choice but i realized that look the u.s is its own country and they decided well we're gonna change that now obviously if enough people say we need to bring it back or we need to adjust by all means do so and i don't think people should give up on it because rules and regulations have changed you should always argue you should always fight on the things that you truly believe need to be changed and represented so obviously this painting wasn't oh uh, you know we're gonna change the world but i think with art in general you have that conception that idea of we want to question what those until moments are we want to question what our standards are, what our until moments are, right? Life is precious until, um, you know, uh, you know, unalivened people is okay until, you know. Um, and again, there's no one right answer or one wrong answer. I'm not out here to try to point my finger and moralize anybody because God knows I've made mistakes. God knows there's people out there that says well she stole my thunder um you know and of course it, you know, those people that know my real name well you know this person of course I, i'm by no means a perfect individual but i think that's the whole point of art is to give you the opportunity in the simple safe place of seeing a painting of the moon um, give you that opportunity to reflect and wonder well, what if, you know, this is a painting of uh, Ukraine being invaded by Russia. And of course, there's going to be a certain amount of feelings towards that. There's going to be a certain amount of interpretations towards that. And it's okay to have an opinion about that and to, well, I, it, am I okay with that? Am I not okay with it? Why am I okay with that? Why am I not okay with that? It's okay to have your thoughts and ideas about that and to express it, especially if you're a Canadian like I am or American. 
uh, you should be in a position where you feel a certain kind of way about that and have an idea about that. And maybe you might need to act upon that. Maybe you might need to vote and, and decide on a certain thing. Again, I'm not here to tell you, you must think this way or else. Um, you, this should be your opportunity to th- reflect and think and you know what what is my position on uh, the Ukraine versus Russia war and you know let me research that a little bit let me look into it and let me let me decide for myself where I'm going with it there's um, you know it, it's it's very easy to go with what the media says with what Fox says with what CNN says it's very easy but it's not so easy when you have to decide for yourself where you want to be on that um, on that position. And again, there's no, uh, you know, we, we would like to think that there's a right answer, but in reality, there really isn't when it comes to a lot of these situations. And even if you, there is a quote unquote right and wrong position, sometimes we think something in one moment and five, 10, 20 years later realize, oh, wait a minute, I was, I was wrong. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have, maybe I didn't realize, you know, because of course, for a lot of people, they're born in, you know, this, you know, the Ukraine war happened in 2022. Some people are now, you know, they were born in 2022, you know, they're two years old. What do they, what does a two year old know about uh, political or war or geography, right? So of course a two year old is going to think what they're going to think, right? So you sometimes realize that you're going to think some things because you're young or naive or don't know any better. And it's, it's okay to change your mind. It's okay to realize that, oh, wait a minute, what I thought back then was wrong, was different, you know? Um, and I think that's the great thing about art is that you are given an opportunity to have a different opinion and change your mind. And I, I think when you see paint and like this you should take that time quietly on your own to think for yourself and decide for yourself should I continue should I be should I change something everything um there's no right or wrong answer right there's no right or wrong position when you're at the very least when you're looking into art right so with this overall exhibit you get the sense that Wanda Coop like many artists is really out there to question reality and to question how do you know who you are how do you know identity how do you know character how do you know anything right and again there's no right answer or wrong answer i'm not here to moralize any of you hopefully through this video you're getting the impression you're getting the idea that it's It's for you to figure out for yourself what identity is, what you are, right? Now, it's not not wrong to say, yes, society has conditioned me to say uh, unaliving people is wrong or being pro-choice or pro-life, you know, like one of these is right, one of these is wrong. Again, I'm not out here to moralize any of you, right? I'm giving you guys my personal thoughts and ideas here. But hopefully with this art, with this work, you're taking the moment to let me ask questions. Let me go a little bit deeper. Let me go towards the hurt, the pain, the questions, the ideas, the am I really sure this is where I need to be? This is who I am, right? And again, uh, there's no right answer or wrong answer. Some of you will be, oh my God, no, this is not who I want to be. This is not who I am. This is not where I need to be. I need to change. I need to do differently. Some of you will be, yeah, you know what? I'm exactly where I need to be. I I know exactly who I am. My morality, my character, my ethics are exactly where they need to be, right? And again, I'm not here to say, one way or the other right i know for me personally there are moments where it's like oh wait is is this the right answer is this where i need to be is this where i need to go and hopefully hopefully that's where you are also 
is that you have those moments where you take a moment to step back and oof let me let me uh, let me at least think about it let me at least take a moment to look at it a little bit and see is am i really happy where i am if i were to meet god right here right now i would be happy with that i would be happy with what god or allah or whatever that supreme being that you think that you're going to meet is going to be happy with me right um and again i don't have the answer for you personally i'm not out here trying to pretend like i have the answer for people um you know i know for me i'm still questioning i'm still wondering where where that end result is going to be um but for me personally i think it's a good idea to at least have a little bit of let me question let me wonder let me have that little bit of self analysis at least a little bit not always all the time everywhere with everyone there's certain things that at this point when you're in your 30s 40s or 50s there's a certain amount where yeah you should be you should know what you're going with right you should know what you're working with right um you should know the base material right um by the time you're in your 30s 40s and 50s it might just be a question of am i you know, applying how i want to do things in the way that is right for me in general right that's just again my personal opinion i'm not out here trying to you know moralize people but anyways this is my personal opinion of this painting and what it's brought out in me again if you guys have a different interpretation of this painting by all means leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below let me know what you guys feel about this painting what questions you might have and by all means if you have any suggestions of other works or paintings or exhibits that you would want me to talk about by all means please let that uh, be known in the comment section below and you guys know like comment subscribe all that jazz